All right, folks, part two. Um, might have made a little mistake on that last uh, video. So, unfortunately, I've already put top back on it. Um, in the first video, I'd said there's three detent pins in the top of the valve body that I had checked, and the detent balls were in good shape and no issue. What I did not realize or at least catch at the time, was there are two grub screws per hole, and they're hollowed out in the center. Your first grub screw goes down, compresses the spring, or puts pressure on the spring. Your second one locks it into place. And apparently those grub screws had worked them way, their way loose, and they were all the way at the top of the valve body. All three of them were. So I was able to get it to run back down, uh, put slight pressure on the springs. There's nothing in the manual that indicates how much pressure there should be on them. So I just kind of did it by feel. Um, and then ran the second one down. And don't know why, but when you run the second one down, it will just seat up against the, the, the bottom one and just continue to turn and tighten up the spring. But if you put a little bit of sideways pressure on it, on the Allen key, uh, it will actually lock and twist the two together and lock them together. Uh, so I reset all three, uh, putting slight pressure on the spring, just doing everything by feel, and it seems to have fixed the problem. Uh, it's not falling out of gear anymore. Um, turned down some stainless and didn't have any problem there. Uh, I actually put a uh, speed sensor on it and clocked the speed for what the dial is saying, and they were dead on, uh, no issues there. So, uh, if you got a Cincinnati Hydra shift and it's just falling out of gear mid cut, uh, definitely check those detent balls in the top of the valve body. Um, I don't know if it's something that uh, the gentleman that owned this thing before me had done as far as hollowing out those grub screws or setting two of them in there, but. Um, that's what I found on this one, and it seems to have fixed the problem. It, I've, I've run quite a bit, and it has not fallen out of gear or given me any problems as of yet. So, hope this helps some of you guys out. Um, that is a very, very simple fix if that uh, continues and it doesn't do it again, then, I mean, that's an easy one. That's really easy. Remove the top cap, and right there will be the three Allen screws. They're hollow. You can see straight down through them. Uh, or stick a pick down through them uh, at, before you touch anything, as you see them on the valve body. So uh, as long as they're hollow and you can stick a pick down through them, you know that's the ones. And uh, you can back the top one out and then set the bottom one and then drive the top one back in. Put a little sideways force as soon as it touches the bottom one and it will uh, it'll lock it into place. So let's see if that fixes it. But... Hopefully so. Uh, hope this helps some of you guys out. Um, I know I was sure worried about tearing it all the way down. So uh, that's where I'm going to leave it. And you guys have a good one.